Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Outlook. In this module, I want to have a look at how you can create rules that automatically move certain emails into folders that either you are creating while you're doing the rule or you've already created. So on the screen, I've got email accounts, as you can see down the left hand side here. I'm going to use this one, this account, and I'm going to create a rule on this account. So if I go to file, you've got rules and alerts here so i'll click on this one and then it opens up the rules and alerts for this account so i've got one already that i've created but if i create a new one new rule now the one i want to do is move messages with specific words in the subject to a folder so i'm clicking on that one and then what you get down the bottom here is, is you have to select the folder and those specific words. So there's a specific word part. So I'll click on that. And this one is going to be training. So if it's got training, I'll add that. And you can add a few if you want. Click OK to that. And then if that's true, specific folder. Now I haven't got a folder called training. So I'm just going to go new and just create that folder training in this mailbox okay to that so that's a folder selected there make sure i've got it clicked okay to that so now you can see that information is there if it says training in the subject move it to the folder called training so when you go next you get lots and lots of different other options that you can use to add to your rule and then it will just populate this and there's quite a few different pages as you go through there you can see them all these different options I'm just going to go finish because that's all I want to do. Fairly simple rule. And then it sits in your rules and alerts box. So if I click OK to that. Now, if I go back and send myself an email with the title training in it. New email. So I'll just type my email address. So it's um, this account. Now, this is the trigger, training, make sure it's spelt right. I don't need any message as such. I'll just send, and then that should come to myself. And there's the inbox. Now, if I just wait a couple of seconds, what should happen is, as you can see, it's there. Look, that's the, these are the folders. There's the one. It didn't even come into the inbox. It went straight into that folder training. And there it is. So once you create a rule, you've got to be careful because obviously that's not smacking you in the face that you've got an email. You're just moving it out of your inbox into specific folders. Now, that one I did by creating a folder while I was going. But if I do a new folder here, if I just um, right click and just go new folder and call this um, finance. So that's a folder that's already created now. And just do a just do a rule. Let's get rid of this one. Just do it again for finance. So this one's already been created. So still to the same place. Rules and alerts. New rule. Move messages to a specific with specific words. So the specific word I want to use is going to be finance. Just for this example, add in, add in finance. Okay. To a specific folder. And now, because I've created the folder first, you can see it sitting there amongst the others. Once so it doesn't really matter if you've created it or not, you can create it either way at the beginning or during this process. Click OK to that, making sure both of those are saying what I want them to say. And then I'm not going to go through all the other options. I'm just going to go finish. There it sits. Click OK. Go back and send myself an email. So new email to myself. And with the title finance finance and then send it and then it will not come into this inbox straight away what you should be looking for is a little one appearing in finance when it does eventually appear and there it goes didn't take too long just pops up there so that's basically how you can create rules and my personal emails i've got rules to sort of filter out spam emails if you keep getting spam emails from the same sender you can filter them out but they're quite clever they use um words with pictures 
or little special characters so it's quite hard to create a rule that's going to capture all those so you've got to try and be um, pick, a, pick a generic phrase to try and get rid of some of these rules when you get a say you get a an email that you don't really like you can add it you can just add it um, to go into from here you know you've got these rules you know you can create a rule through this option um, but you can also move a, an email or something into these and you can also um, get rid of it if you want it depends what, what you're trying to do if you're getting bombarded with spam emails you can actually just delete it or put it into the junk folder whichever you want so that's all I want to talk about on this little video how you can create a simple rule to move automatically move emails when they come into your inbox so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one